The country collapsed into violence and terror. It would lead to the rise of one of Africa's most corrupt dictators, Mobutu Seze Seko. But amidst the chaos, the Western mining companies carried on their operations unhindered. Above all, the giant Union Minier. A spokesman for Union Minier is at this moment presenting his report to the shareholders. We have seen more than half a million people butchered, mutilated, raped and torn limb from limb. Only this week, we've read of massacres in Stanleyville, of mass shooting down and of unarmed women and children being murdered, of the burning alive of 60 men tied together and soaked in petroleum. Through all these events, your directors and I have asked ourselves only one question. To what extent will the operations of your company be affected? We are pleased to record that the events of this particular week, taking place as they did in Stanleyville province, over a thousand miles from the main seat of our mining operations, need not in any way directly concern us.